The ocean is vast, deep, eternal, and long before the mighty Megalodon ever cruised its depths, other monsters ruled the water stranger, older, and in some ways, even more terrifying. This is the story of the ancient sea beasts, the monsters that lived before Megalodon. Three hundred sixty million years ago, there were no dinosaurs, no mammals, no birdsong in the trees because there were no trees. Life on land had just begun to cool, but beneath the waves, a killer prime made Dunkley Astes a thirty-foot-long armored nightmare from the Devonian seas. It didn't have teeth, not like ours. Instead, it had razor-sharp bone plates that fused into a beak-like jaw. And those jaws, they could open and snap shut in milliseconds delivering a bite force of over 8,000 pounds per square inch. Enough to slice through bone, shell, or anything foolish enough to cross its path. Its body was sheathed in thick, interlocking armor, a tack disguised as a fish. Scientists called Dunkleosteus a plankton, an extinct class of armored jaw fishes. It wasn't just the top predator of its time. It was the blueprint for the apex killers that would follow. But evolution doesn't sleep. And after the Devonian ended in mass extinction, something bigger was coming. Fast forward nearly 150 million years. The Earth is now a greenhouse. Dinosaurs rule the land. But in the oceans of the Jurassic, another monster has risen. Its name, Lyopurodon, up to 25 feet long, possibly more and powered by four massive flippers. It glided through the water like a silent missile. A marine reptile, not a dinosaur. A pliosaur, to be exact. Its skull alone could stretch over five feet filled with conical, interlocking teeth designed to grip supery prey like ichthyosaurs and squid. But what made Lyopurodon deadly wasn't just its size or teeth. It had an acute sense of smell, possibly able to detect prey from miles away in murky waters. Its nostrils were positioned to sample scents as it swam. Only like a prehistoric bloodhound. Imagine it. A warm, shallow Jurassic Sea. Schools of fish scatter. Shadows move below. Then silence breaks. The jaws of Lyopurodon snap shut around its target, and the hunt is over before it ever began. It was swift, silent, and it ruled the waves, until the Cretaceous brought change once again. Enter the age of Mosasaurus, the late Cretaceous apex predator. Not a fish, not a dinosaur, but a marine lizard closely related to monitor lizards and snakes. Mosasaurus could stretch up to 50 feet long. That's longer than a bus and far more aggressive. With a double hinged jaw and backward facing teeth. Once it bit down, escape was impossible. Prey was guided straight down the throat. Its tail moved in a powerful, eel-like motion. Its body was sleek, made for fast pursuit. And like modern sharks, it may have even had countershading dark above. Like below, the mask is presence from both predators and prey. Mosasaurus didn't just hunt, it dominated. Fossils show they feasted on everything. Fish, ammonites, birds, other marine reptiles, and sometimes even their own kind. The oceans of the Cretaceous were more dangerous than ever. And at the very top of the food chain, Mosasaurus reigned supreme. But its time was limited. Because at the end of the Cretaceous came fire from the sky. The asteroid mass extinction followed and the seas fell silent once again. From the ashes of extinction, a new ocean killer was born. Its name Megalodon, rising millions of years after the dinosaurs. Megalodon was a true titan, a 60-foot-long super shark with jaws wide enough to swallow the grown human whole again. And again and again, its teeth, some over seven inches long, were serrated, designed to cut through flesh and bone and eat. Unlike Dantlodostias or Lyopurodon, Megalodon was built for long-range domination. It swam the global seas, hunting whales, seals, and anything unlucky enough to drift too close. It wasn't the first sea monster, but it may have been the most famous. Apex Predator, Global Traveler, Hollywood Icon, but even the strongest form, rising ocean competition, changing climate, collapsing food chains. Roughly 3.6 million years ago, Megalodon disappeared. What did it? The ocean is Earth's last frontier. Bark, vast, incomplete. We've mapped more of the moon than our own seafloor. Every year, new creatures are discovered. Some alien, some ancient, some terrifying. The monsters that lived before Megalodon may be gone, but the ocean's memory is long. 
and in its deepest trenches, where sunlight dies and pressure crushes steel. Who knows what still survives? Want to uncover more lost predators of deep time? Subscribe for more prehistoric stories brought to life with science and imagination. And tell us, which ancient sea monster do you think was the deadliest? We'll be watching the comments below.